What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Tinker's Construct update video. So last time I created these liquid um, variants into you know blocks and of course we have the bucket. So we have the molten gold bucket and of course we have liquid gold and stuff that you use with the smeltery to create these uh, liquids here. Now I created a uh, stencil table which you use to create all your parts by shift clicking uh, which I'm plan on changing that but you guys let me know if you like that idea or not rather than using materials both still work but uh, I'm gonna end up creating casts now I did create the cast in the last one but it had no use and now I have the cast basin which I still need to fix some of the textures but don't worry about that we have the cast basin and we have the cast ingots uh, for now, I'll create all the other casts, like for pickaxe head and uh, the axe head, the rods, you know, for getting into metal materials. Uh, regular patterns are what you would use to create non-metal materials. Uh, we'll end up switching that up later. Uh, but for now, if you take a molten iron, gold, or bucket, and you put it inside of the basin here, you get yourself a block so you could sit there and use it as many times as you want as long as you have the materials so if I'm in survival let me just go to survival real quick game mode let me spell that right game mode s like so and if I use a molten diamond bucket it takes one bucket and gives me a block of diamond now to create a a uh, molten bucket inside of a crafting table you would need a regular bucket and you need nine liquid diamonds and of course if you watch my last video whenever we use the smeltery you use one ore inside of the smeltery to create this liquid diamond here so you would need nine of these and a bucket to be able to use this and it works for all of them like so so I could get as many as I want as long as I have the bucket material now if you want you can go ahead and grab the liquids out of the smeltery whenever you have the smeltery from like my last video I showed the smelter. I forgot to build it in this episode but I'm just showing these for this one if you take these liquid like say iron and you click it well we get iron now so let me just move these up here like so if I click this and I can use the liquids and pour them pretty much on side it doesn't have any animation but it does have the functions which I don't know if you guys are okay with that or not I'm not very good with animations that's why most of my mobs are non animated as much because uh, I'm not that good but for the most part if you take a single liquid this is how you will be able to get your ingots because you no longer can get these ingots by crafting them because you're not going to be able to get a, a, a diamond uh, ore uh, and put it in a furnace and get yourself you know smelt it that way you actually have to use the smeltery because that's what tinkers construct is so i just wanted to show you guys this part which you could use that and uh, also added in a new awesome table texture because you guys said it was derped out last time uh which got all those also let me go to game mode i think it's spell game mode uh c uh, so in here I went ahead and added all of these now you guys had some concerns so let me just get rid of everything real quick about most of these being blocks because you guys know I can move these into block formats and all of that uh, yes these are blocks but they're items the main things I need to change some of these up and I need to fix some of the textures guys I know but I added in a bunch of new blocks I took out the brownstone uh, because I had to almost redo Tinker's Construct in just a few days just to get back where I currently am right now uh, because when I added all these to a block uh, from my last video I couldn't figure out where I messed up because it kept crashing the game wouldn't save and it was just a whole bunch of code mess up and I couldn't figure it out so I recoded it and I moved everything that originally I had from my last backup and everything works now so I can actually exit and save but all of these guys let me let me just get, show you the new blocks first so I did get um, let me just go back over here go to, go to this one okay so uh, I did add in a stone let me get that the sheared bricks um let's get all these new materials get the graveyard get the firewood get the dried clay let me get rid of that one uh got grout dried clay you already got yep dried clay so let's get rid of that okay so some of these new blocks like lava wood which is from the pc so it's pretty nice uh you got dried clay which you could get you get a stone torch by the way it works so game mode or time set day or night 
I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but it, it works just like a torch. So you can place it down. Boom. You got yourself a stone torch. So if you're inside of a, um, the caves here, it just costs one coal and one stone rod, which is easy to make. Uh, we also have the dried clay here. We have, or I already showed you lava wood. We have mud bricks, which you could craft now. We have um, consecrated soil, which I'm going to make kind of like um, soul sand, so it's harder to walk on. But uh, this right here will be a new biome that I plan on making. So it will spawn in a bunch of the new mobs for Tinker's Construct that I plan on adding. Uh, we also have graveyard soil, which would be the same thing. Uh, and then we have firewood, which is what you use lava wood to create this fire burnt wood for cool decorations. Uh, so those are the new blocks I got. I'll add back the brownstone, guys. Don't worry. Let's look at the ladder. So place that. <laughs> place it over here. Yeah, it's invisible. I got to fix the block texture. <laughs> but uh, we got glow, of course, which is from the PC. Uh, let's place that down. Yep. It's even a brighter area than the torch, by the way. So it's pretty nice. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, but yeah, all of these guys, don't worry about them. Now you can set them down. So I'm just going to grab a few just to show you. You could set them down and stuff, but that's that's not the point. Like, you could still use them, guys. So even though it's a block, uh, the most important things are the items, which I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go to give at P. Tinker's Construct. Um, and let's do a diamond. And let's give ourselves a diamond gold pickaxe. Uh, so these still render like they're supposed to, you know, so they're not going to be a block like this, guys. These are just for, dec like, not decorations, but these are for using for crafting, and you can see them in the inventory, so people can use them and experiment for, like, creative and just learn some stuff. Uh, but the main things which aren't in the creative inventory, which are items, and I'm limited because I'm only able to use 99. And I have, like... I'm almost running out, so I don't even have none of the new ores. I'll talk about modifiers in a second, but let me do give at P shovel. Uh, so there we go. We got a whole bunch of shovels here, just these. So I got the diamond regular shovel. We have a Tinker's uh, diamond gold shovel. We have a gold diamond shovel. We have a yeah gold iron shovel. So if we just give it that. So this is what the gold iron shovel looks like, which is pretty neat. It's pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, all of those will work like they're supposed to, you know, like the regular items. So I have all those. They're just not in the creative menu. Uh, now I wanted to talk about modifiers. So let me do time, set, day. This is almost ready to download uh, for the functions that I have because I have most of the recipes done. So you guys can like actually craft these uh, and get those inside of the game. But I also have all the blocks which you could get, uh, biomes which I'll be making, a few mobs. Uh, a couple more recipes, but I have these features, and I just kind of wanted to show you guys these features, which is like the biggest thing because it was awesome. Uh, I'll keep making more of the ingots here. I'll make more of these cast ingots. Now, by the way, this is just the block that is in its format. Uh, you'll get the entity form, which you can interact with. After you create this cast ingot, which I'll have it where when you place it down, it'll turn into the entity. Same with the uh, base in here and the crafting uh stencil table uh, but for that let's talk about the modifiers what I was thinking is say well, let's give ourselves a diamond so diamond I'm gonna give myself a diamond and say you have a diamond sword already or something the thing with uh, modifiers let me give myself an anvil and I just kinda wanna show you guys so you can't enchant custom items or at least I have no clue how you do it I don't know uh, enchantment book so let's just give ourselves like uh, something for the sword. Sharpness. There we go. So sharpness. So I'm going to give myself a new Tinker's Construct item. Give at P sword. And let's give ourselves that one. Okay, so we have the diamond iron sword. Which looks cool, by the way. What do you think about the textures? I think I did pretty good for most of them. Since you can interact with mostly everything. But if you put this in here and you put enchantment you you can't get one but if you put a regular sword you can enchant it so that's the whole problem with this i can't add like sharpness and stuff only the regular vanilla you can because i i really don't if you guys know let me know so i can try and change that up and make awesome cool enchantments so what i was thinking is to modify these new weapons so you would throw it down so you have a a diamond handled iron sword uh, and if you throw the diamond on it to create the modifier, it would give you 
um, a modified knowledge, which is kind of like uh, you can learn enchantments. Either I can put it each specific item, or you can learn it. I'm really not sure because the modifiers the modifiers are the biggest issues right now at Tinker's Construct. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out a good way for, like, if you want to use this weapon specifically with beheading, it would work. Or do you want to learn beheading? So instead of it being on your sword, uh, you could learn it. So you would just use a book with, say, like, uh, obsidian for beheading. You would throw those down, and you would learn beheading at a percentage rate. So let's say, like, um, beheading would be, you know, like, 1 or 10% for learning the knowledge so it would work on all of your weapons or i could still try and look around to figure out each individual weapon so you would use it on the weapon instead of learning like through a knowledge skill uh you would actually modify the weapon itself which i'm still trying to figure out i think i could do it with functions but i'm gonna do around some more testing i just kind of wanted to explain some stuff to you guys about that uh it might be the hardest part but for the most part, all the weapons do work. They all have different damage values, so, you know, I could go around and I could attack all these mobs around here. I don't know if there's one anywhere. Uh, but they all do have different damage, so let's see this chicken. Yeah, he was a one-shot kill with the, the iron diamond sword, so that's pretty nice. Uh, they all have different durability, so when you're in survival, the durability will go down and all that. Um, but for the most part, it's all done besides the little bitty stuff like that. Uh, most of the stuff is ready to be downloaded. Uh, I just need to add a few more stuff. Let me know of everything that you I talked about in this video that you guys would like me to add or change up. Uh, do you like how I'm doing the casting and the basin? Although there's no animation, the functions still work like in regular Tinker's Construct. The smelter already works. If you guys are kind of new, this is a video you haven't you know seen about Tinker's Construct. I recommend you guys go in the description and watch the video before this one so you can learn about how I have everything and all of my Tinker's Construct playlist. So you guys can see how I've created the mod for Bedrock Edition from PC. And that would be pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Dick Black Rose, and I'm out.